Put yourselves out there. Take the actions that are representative of that passion. Don't hesitate. Don't hold back. If you feel like you need to express yourself through writing, write. If you need to express yourself through painting, paint. If you need to express yourself through acting, act in some way, shape, or form. Express your creativity. Express who you are through the physical actions on a daily basis, so that others may see through you as a living example what that reality looks like and what the citizens of that reality do. And today I have a very special brand. It is Amu Ludo, and you can find that brand on Etsy. I designed everything I will be trying on today. I would leave it, the link to my Etsy in the description and you can order via Etsy. Everything that I try on is basically a sample piece, right? So whatever I try on today will not be sold full price. It would be sold at a discount. When we will do, we would make custom orders. I have actually only gotten one, <laughs> one order from Etsy so far. This is my very first order and it was so exciting because it's not my friend buying something. It's not someone I know. This is just a random customer. That was so exciting. I couldn't sleep at night. After shipping it, I just sat outside the post office. It was getting dark. I probably shipped it at like 7.30 or so. I sat outside and I was just watching cars go back, go by, like, and it was getting dark. I couldn't really see the cars, but I was just watching. So if there's anything I'm not satisfied with, I would make twitches in the design and then redo it. So I'm not going to put up anything that's not well made, okay? This is my passion and I wanna give it my best. All I can do is give it my all because it's my excitement. It makes me happy. This is me, like, let's go. You can message me. There's a custom option on the Emulator page on Etsy to order, or you can message me on Instagram. What is it given? The question should be, what is it not given? So this is a baggy, it's a dress by the way. It's a dress, not a two-piece. So you can see the detailing, it's open here. I'm thinking, what was my inspiration behind making this dress? I'm thinking business casual. If you wear this to a job interview, <laughs> they have to be very uncool to not hire you. Look, business casual, but there's, you can literally wear this anywhere. Do you guys not see Rihanna wearing this? Or is it just me? I can see Rihanna, Rihanna eating this dress up. Like she's gonna eat it up. And uh, look, the oversized hands, and then the buttons, everything is just perfect. It's like, oh gosh, oh gosh. And you can dress this however you want, but I thought the boots would just go because it looks cool. This is like a cool kind of dress. like. The cool girls know it's cool. Look, look at the material. Look at the material. No, she's not from Mars. Definitely not from Jupiter. Definitely doing what she wants to do. That's all you need to know. You can get it on Etsy and you get this exact one because I only, this is a sample piece. I only made one of this dress. But look at the detail. It's giving business casual and it's giving sexy like have it your way now it has no stretch whatsoever so this is a size 2 but it would fit a size 0 as well I purchased the fabric for this dress online. I wasn't sure what to expect. I just like the fabric. It looked really nice, but it's very glossy. So I wasn't sure, like not everything would work with this fabric. So I was thinking weddings, glossy, weddings would go. So I was thinking, okay, a bridesmaid dress or a wedding guest dress. I think I made a size eight and size 10 for this dress, so yes. So this dress, we have three sizes to order. Obviously this will be discounted, but the other sizes will not be discounted because they are not tried on. I'm only discounting what is being tried on in this video. 
there is a sexiness but formality about this dress I think my style is very much like that like I like something that's not too much but still like very you know very fun and flirty and this is the final dress I was not going for a collection this is just me playing around with fabrics and doing a bunch of stuff so this is not really a collection a simple vintage bridal season dress it's inspired by one of Sophia Rich's wedding dresses from Chanel so this is just a simple cut it's just about the silhouette nothing dramatic it's well fitted and it, it has like a, an eyelet at the back so you can really cinch it I should have probably made it all the way down um, but no, this is perfect. And I will see you guys on the next video. If you like my content, you can subscribe to keep watching. Bye-bye.